everyone, this is Colleen Richardson with Bedford Community Television. And like most of you, I've been working at home during the stay at home order. And today I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and show you all how to make homemade Play-Doh. I found a no cook recipe online, which seems to be pretty easy. So we're gonna check it out. I remember as a kid, my mom would make it for us and you had to cook all the ingredients back then. So this sounds like it might be a little easier. In this recipe, it is one cup of flour, one third cup of salt, a half a cup of water, two teaspoons of canola oil, and if you want color to it, some food coloring. The first thing you do is put the dry ingredients in your bowl and mix them, which I've already done. Then if you want to add coloring, there's two ways to do it. You can add it to the water before you mix it in, or you can knead it into the dough afterwards. I think a less messier way is to add it into the water, so that's what we're gonna to try to do today. So just put in your coloring. And I found that you need to put quite a bit, or unless um, you want it to be a light color. So we'll mix that in, and then add in our oil. And now we're just going to mix that into the flour and you're just trying to get it to mix together to be kind of like a dough consistency. And if you notice that it's too sticky, then just gradually add in a little more flour. And you can also add in more flour when you're kneading it. So we're going to do that now. We're going to put this out on our board. Add a little bit more flour. And just knead it till it's the consistency of Play-Doh. Now I found some other recipes online as well and I'll share those with you at the end of the program. One included shampoo and it said that it would air dry and then you could paint them afterwards. So that sounded pretty neat. So you'll have a couple choices to try. And so there, there you go, there's your Play-Doh. I have made another batch earlier and as it sits, it gets a little um, stiffer and a little less sticky. So that's a good thing as well. But they said to keep it in an airtight container because it will dry out. And so here's a finished product. One little trick that I wanted to share with you is if you did find that you wanted to add more color to the dough after you have made it, um, put it in a little Ziploc bag, put the coloring in it, and then you can knead it. And that'll take away some of the mess. Um, you'll still have to take it out of the bag afterwards and knead it some more. Um, but trying to keep that food coloring off of our fingers. So that's the, that's the trick that I found. So I hope you have fun, enjoy, and stay safe everyone.